So I wanted to share something with you. This may actually turn into a podcast, but it's one of those things where I believe no matter where you are as a teacher of God's Word, you need to be transparent. Today, I had a wonderful day at church. Just, it was great. And I came home and I was listening to a podcast about a gentleman who had been through the loss of uh, his wife. And uh, he was sharing his testimony. And uh, I found out through the sharing of his testimony that I still have some growing to do. I mean, we all do. He mentioned that the fact that he is married again. And without thinking about it, I uh, blurted something out that uh, shocked me. I believe I said, well, it must be nice. I would like to be married again. And right then, I was uh, convicted. We are supposed to rejoice with those who rejoice. And we're supposed to weep with those who weep. So I prayed immediately. And I confessed it to a friend of mine. And she knows who she is. But it caused me to reflect on 1 John 1, 9. And it's something we all know. And it says if we uh, confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Years ago I had looked this verse up in my uh, Hebrew Greek key study Bible. And I don't have that Bible anymore. Until recently I bought a hardcover of it. So this is going to be a demonstration and a lesson all at the same time. So I'm going to reach over here and grab this. Because I want to show you something that you may or may not know. Alright, so here's my Bible, and I opened it up to 1 John 1 9. It's a great verse to go to when we all pull some goofy stunt like this. And I want to show you this. There is the word, it takes us back to uh, look up the word. Um, and it means to agree with, or affirm, or to admit. And I like the word admit. But let me draw your attention to this number right here, where it says P-S-A. In this particular Bible, the Hebrew Greek Key Study Bible, it comes with this card. And it explains to you what these grammatical codes are. And this says, present, subjunctive, active. C40 and 1. Okay, let me take you over here to where 40 is. There it is. The present subjunctive mode refers to a continuous or repeated action without implying anything about the time of the action. I want you to notice this. A continuous or repeated action. When we confess our sins, it's not a one time and done. It's a daily thing. And sometimes... Like what happened to me today, when God points out something that we need to change, it's not because He's angry at us, it's because He loves us. Friend, if you're struggling with something like I am, and the Holy Spirit shows that to you loud and clear, repent and be thankful, because that's a sign your Heavenly Father loves you. And it's time to stretch and grow some more. God bless y'all. I'll have a new podcast up within a few days. And thank you very much to all the new subscribers I've picked up. I really appreciate it. 
I will promise not to teach above my ability. And I promise also to be as transparent as I can possibly be. Because as the famous philosopher Red Green once said, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Thank you, guys.